Hello and welcome. Uh, this is my thoughts on Once Upon a Time episode 11. And so we get the story of Sidney Glass. Now I've always liked Giancarlo Esposito ever since I saw him as Gus Frayne in Breaking Bad and then he played a, an equally devious and self-serving character in Revolution. So it's no surprise that yet again he's playing a morally dubious, thoroughly self-serving character as Sidney Glass. What I wasn't expecting was that he was the original genie from the Aladdin stories. I've always loved the stories of Shahrazad and the Thousand and One Nights. So it was with happiness that we're getting some non-European fairy stories and folk tales. I am rather hoping we're going to see some more of Shahrazad's creations, uh, Ali Baba maybe, or Sinbad. In good time, I suppose, in good time. So first off the bat, King Leopold discovers the lamp and releases the genie. And rather than wish anything for himself, he wishes for, um, for the genie to be free. And yet he's warned at the beginning that uh, the, the, these wishes have a way of backfiring and even such a benevolent wish as wishing somebody's freedom in, ends up backfiring on King Leopold as we see the genie fall in love with the evil queen and conspire to murder the king and we also see just how manipulative the queen was at this stage I mean we still don't know what it was that set the Queen off. We're still very much in the period of time where she hates Snow White and hates the King and is very much evil. So we still don't know what turned her evil yet. I'm looking forward to that episode greatly. In the real world, Sidney Glass is trying to convince Emma that he is an ally. And I fell for it. I really did think that he was turning against the Queen. Uh, or turning against Regina. But, and here's the big but, the clue is really in his Once Upon a Time character. That he he never wanted to leave the Queen. In fact, he became the, the man in the mirror. Just so that he couldn't be parted with the Queen. So it's... It's notwithstanding that he that she has a, a hold over him in the real world. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can see why the evil queen, or should I say the queen, grew to dislike the king. I mean, his attitude towards her was rather nasty. I mean, it's not easy living in the shadow of a dead person. So I can see why she became disgruntled, but from what I can see, she's definitely already evil by this point. In the real world, poor old Henry's castle gets knocked down by the evil, evil mother. It's all about control, I think. I mean, it's true that, I mean, Sidney Glass revealed the fact that Regina knew about uh, the castle, the playground, long before that. But to Henry, it was his secret place, and now she's built a replacement. She's knocked the old one down and built a replacement, but it's still very much under her control, so she knows exactly where Henry is. Henry doesn't have any secret places anymore for him. And now the stranger's got the book, which is something I really didn't understand. What? Why has the stranger got the book? What is, what is his relevance in the plot and as for Emma going up against Regina in the court in the um, town meeting she's always one step ahead isn't she Regina um, Emma doesn't think things through properly and she's easily duped I mean she was completely duped by Sidney Glass in this episode 
you got to feel sorry for her. She thought she had an ally. I was fooled. Was you fooled? I feel, I feel we've got more of Sidney Glass's story to come, or rather, the genie before he became the mirror. So we've seen how the genie became the mirror, and how he fell under Regina's spell. But how did he get washed up on those shores? So, this is what I love about this series actually is every episode seems to open up more and more branches for investigation I mean I want to know about the Ogre Wars and how they started I want to know more about Rumpelstiltskin's past his deep deep past now I want to see the genie's story and maybe get a bit of Shahrazad as well as all the other characters going on oh, it's just amazing and I know I'm going to watch episode 13 which is called Skin... no it's not called Skin Deep is it? it is called What Happened to Frederick okay then right I'm going to do the reaction now and I'll give you my thoughts on that thank you for watching and bye bye see you next episode which is called Skin... no it's not called Skin Deep is it? it is called... I did look it up I didn't look it up it is called... What Happened to Frederick? I'm trying not to actually look at any synopsis there